dumped it back in 1944, and in the barracks, everyone is, you just have a bunk, and everybody's in there together, and the men. And uh, so I knelt down in prayer every night and read my Bible and had a, a, a mini devotion before I went to, went to bed. So they said, well, that's Parson Larson the Squeaking Deacon, because that was, the, that was the name they gave me. But uh, the other fellow, he says, yeah, and he, when he's on a date with a girlfriend, when he's saying goodnight to her, instead of him kissing her, he gives her a gospel tract, no less. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's, that's my army experience. The clarinet, I want to talk to you just a little bit about the clarinet. It's a latecomer as far as musical instruments are concerned. In the late 1600s it was uh, invented, and all during the 1600s and 1700s, it, it, they had only had one key to begin with, and then they added two or three keys. And, and even when Mozart was writing his symphonies, uh, he never wrote for the clarinet because it wasn't popular or wasn't even hardly introduced in Europe at the time. But except for the last symphony, his 39th or 40th symphony. And he also made, composed a beautiful concerto for clarinet and orchestra. And that was at the end of the 18th century. But anyway, it has the, the, the greatest range of any wind instrument, if I'm not mistaken. And anyway, you can start from the lowest note way down. And then you can go into the next register. And then way up higher still. So the clarinet can go all the way three and a half octaves which is more than most, if not all, other musical instruments, wind instruments, not uh, string instruments, of course. Anyway, when I started clarinet back when I was 12 years old, in the 30s, and um, I had a, a teacher who was an Italian, the name was Patello, and he would tell me, go down. You want to practice, you want to do good, he said, play long tones one-third of the time. So if you play and practice an hour one day, 20 minutes in long tones, and then the rest of the time practicing the exercises. So I practiced these long tones, sometimes 35 minutes, 35 beats. <laughs> and would hold it and then swell larger and then way down. Well, in the summer of 1937, I think it was, we lived at the cottage in the lake, Lake Chautauqua, some of you may know that area, at Sunnyside. And we had a cottage, but the, the fellow next door, his name was Mies, and he would rent the cottage to uh, wild parties, we call it. It was when it was during the Depression and and uh, these young people, young couples, would get drunk and carry on all night long, and laughing and just keeping my father awake. And he didn't sleep well, and my mom was really upset about that. So um, in the morning, she says, Gordon, get your clarinet. So at 7 o'clock in the morning, when they were all through with their messing around and, uh, and trying to sleep, and I made it a point to get to the high note, too. <laughs> so I felt like that all went from the low register to the high register back down again. And I remember that was revenge. revenge. <laughs> My, um, my teacher, he would say, Gordon, attack of the note. So I will play just a little bit of attack of the note. Tongue the tongue of the is what he was saying. <coughs> 
Who's that up here? I think I can probably do it just as well right here. Yeah, that'll do it. Well, you can see my music is pretty much falling apart. It's had many years of neglect. <laughs> anyway, on this particular number, and I'll be quick, uh, listen to the tonguing, but also you'll hear in the, in the musical instance, like a clarinet, you can't play a chord. You, you can't play four or five notes at the same time like, like you can on a piano. And, and this, so I want you to listen for the harmony and the melody despite that. And uh, you'll hear that. <laughs> told me to practice that way. But he also would tell me, uh, Gordon, Gordon, I want you to play sweetly Dolce so you'll make a number cry. And uh, my father said, well, maybe we'll cry anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> I am going to play something that I hope will be sweetly so it will make you all cry. <laughs> It's the second, just parts of the second uh, movement of Mozart's concerto. Beautiful. And if you remember Amadeus, the movie, yes. but of course, I, we don't have the orchestra, we don't have the piano playing behind, but you have to keep in mind there's the orchestra, then the clarinet, then the orchestra, and then the clarinet, so we'll just get the clarinet. Something similar. <clears throat> then the clarinet. 